So the first one is called Wah Pedal or the Wah Effect. The main idea is making things a bit more interesting and almost like speak pretty than thing a person saying Wah. I will build the effects on a guitar sound, but if you think that that's not relevant for you if you are making electronic music, you are really up for a surprise. Watch it until the end so you will understand why I'm telling that. So the Wah Effect starts with auto filter and you want a really tight bandpass filter put it on 24 db and i'm gonna use osr because this one sounds a bit less resonant warmer at least to my ear because we are focusing on the main bulky part of the guitar we don't want to move it really above two kilohertz up here the easiest way to do it click this button and then map filter map here frequency and then you can actually decide which range you will use. We're gonna use 250 to 2000 here. So when we move this up and down, it will stay in that range. So you immediately understand the idea, but when you have band pass filter, you are basically signifying the sound. If you take an example of a white noise, it will look like this, but when you apply the band pass filter, you see that we kind of signify the sound, meaning that we get rid of a lot of frequencies. To compensate it in what you will see is a distortion effects afterwards. In the guitar cases, you will often see an amplifier with a distortion. We can just use Ableton's own amp, make it much more interesting. The thing that reacts really well to this type of sound is actually using overdrive, putting it on the, a bit more on the high part. It kind of clips the sound and contains a bit more while distorting a bit more. Oftentimes you will see that an EQ, like cutting super high, something like this, making it a bit more pleasant to the ear, but a better way of doing this actually using a cabinet. Cabinets are built after the response of the real world amplifier cabinets, so they will have this frequency and signal response. In this case, we can put in the dual, and I like to use some, something like this, change the songs and make it a bit more contained and warmer. The final thing that we should do is just assigning the important parameters to our audio effect rack so we can control everything at one single place. So here you see that I mapped all the important parameters so we can almost like close this up. We can have drive it and then we have the gain for amp, different amp types, overdrive, tone, resonance, how much filter will be resonating and of course the cabinet over here. If you want to download all the project files and of course the effects racks as well, take a look at my Patreon, I put everything there. In the real world you will have the guitarist pedal under their feet and they will be just moving in up and down. This is just the emulation of it but I just draw all the lines. So this is without the effects. Boring really. And once we activate our effects chain, much more interesting sound but now where the fun begins in old times when you have all the guitar gear you could actually pair these guitar pedals with the synthesizer to experiment a little bit and a lot of this acid type of aggressive sound come from combination of these pedals let's take an example of this one so first we start with super simple synthesizer sound i have this preset coming from my opalite preset pack sounds like this Look what happens when we take the same FX chain that we had more aggressive amplifier and a bit more overdrive. This is basically that acid type of sound or this old school prodigy type of sound in the box. And the final piece will be of course putting it even more distortion. I'm using this Arturas tube culture together with a delay. And if you put this into the loop. I strongly suggest experimenting with this type of tracks if you want to really get this old school gnarling aggressive synthesizer sound. If you enjoyed the video up to now, please consider subscribing. Number two will be the dub delays or dub echoes. The main idea with this type of effect is creating an ambience that can be almost hypnotic. So to start with, I just build a simple chord progression, sounds like this. Really straightforward, nothing really that complicated. Now I'm gonna use delay. So the main idea here is actually taking a piece and filtering out that part of the sound and creating long delay tails. So in this case, let's take something like on the low end, put a long feedback on top. Every time it delays again, this filter is applied over and over and over, deeper, deeper and deeper. Sometimes you will see also this one's pan on the stereo, so we will put in the ping pong. 
See how long the delayed tail goes, it almost becomes like a reverb like. Trick over here is actually creating a movement on the sounds. The simple way to do it is actually using kind of LFO. Some of the delays like Echo has this function already inside it, but I want to illustrate it manually. So we take this one and pull it here. So now we are moving the filter around. Of course, it's just way too much. We can offset it a bit more to the left. And now we have moving on the low end of the things, right? We can make it really slowly moving up and down. that makes the sound even more interesting is if we just group this up now we have this effects change to so duplicate this one or twice so you have the delay change that you can change the time a little bit so let's say this one is our deep one the second one will be maybe my main one so this one i'm going to put it in the 100 person as well so that i can create another chain here this will be dry only the origin sound and this will be the wet effects the first one slow fifth the second one we can make it faster third more than offset in the middle it will open this up so this will be a bit more richer delay if you feel like the sound levels are moving too much the simplest fix is just adding a glue compressor now we are much even volumes till the here being down here you have to be careful about the levels because if you use too many loud delays it will really take over the sound just to make it even more spicy i'm going to introduce one more time as a fast one and let's put this on the up something like that shorter delay and then we can introduce a bit delay so it's a bit ping pongy right together to make it everything a bit more even out just introducing a reverb afterwards let's use something like a hybrid reverb with the high wetness take a look at that we are using long decay times but i would suggest put it on the hundred percent and listen to it so i want a bit noise here and you can bring this down now we have this moving and leaving sound that changing every single time there is more ways to spice this up introducing something like a flanger you can either use it like after all the effects so flanger applies to everything or if you want to be a bit fancier and use on specific parts you can actually take that flanger go to our main delay over here like afterwards so the flanger exists only that main big delay Or you can do the combination, which I like quite a bit. Idea continues, of course. You can use also phasers or more modulation or choruses, for example, apply to the main sound. Take, for example, that high pitch sound over here and make it a bit more splashed around. This really creamy high end. And together with a cool drum loop, we have this. This video is sponsored by Debian's Machines Infiltrator 2. Infiltrator 2, it's a multi-effect parallel sequencer and modulation plugin. What does that mean? It means that we have tons of effects and sound forging options, including spectral processing. Now the devil is in detail. You can create parallel effects and modulate them however we like. But the genius thing is we can actually create a sequence out of all these different effects and bring them in and out, creating very unique effects processing. Which of course brings tons of different possibilities. The third one is making that dreamy electronica sound. Again, we start with a preset from my Opalite preset pack. If you haven't checked it, you are losing quite a bit. So take a look at my Opalite preset pack. There are really cool sounds in it. We have something like this. To make this effect chain work, it's always good idea to start with kind of a bell sound. What I'm going to do now, put it in the second here and turn this off. For this one to work, we need some type of delay effect. And the important thing over here is echo effect has the pitching capabilities. Plus it will be really cool if you, it has also granular engine so that we can make really cool granulated sound. Start with something like this, 100% wet.
not too different from the original sound, but I'm going to duplicate this first and freeze and flatten the original sound. Pick this area and click on R so that it is reversed. So the sound started to ring a bell a bit, isn't it? The main trick over here is making it really sprinkle. And to make it sprinkle, we need that granular engine and the pitch effects as well. Put the pitch one of the up, play with the feet and the sides. I think it's pretty cool. Now, the same idea, duplicate this one more time, freeze and flatten. Now we have this really cool sprinkly sound. Really cool, it's just panning this one to the right or the left, or 50% to the left, and bring the volume down together with the original. Now we have a sprinkle on the left. Take the right one and change the parameters a bit so that it's a bit different from the left one. I'm going to duplicate this one more time just to keep it as a backup and freeze and flatten again. And now we are going to reverse and to put it in the right. Bring down the volume like we did with the other one. So the one thing that's left is containing the sound a little bit and gluing them together. What I like to do, right and left group together and then everything group together as well. So that we can process them together. For the right and left, we're going to solo them, EQ them a bit. I'm going to bring the volume a bit more. And here, the most important in the effect chain is making the sound popping a bit more. You can use flangers, you can try choruses. I'm going to try both of them to see how it sounds. Pretty cool. Let's listen together one more time. Really cool, right? The final thing is, of course, gluing together. We're going to go to group, get the glue compression, and then introduce a reverb. Let's go for Pro R for this really deep and warm sound. Maybe just a simple echo. And of course, final EQ altogether. Now we have this really beautiful, dreamy sound. If you want to learn more about iconic effects chains, I have another video here just about that. Take a look.